So I have a story to tell. I drove my son to go take his aptitude test for the Canadian Armed Forces and I'm struggling. <laughs> having a hard time with this. I, I totally believe in supporting my children um, in whatever they decide to do. And I support him. This is something that he's talked about ever since he was younger. He's always been one to fight for the underdog. I know that it really matters to him and affects him when somebody is um, being hurt and he can't do anything about it, you know? Anyways, I won't get into it too much, but I am a little bit emotional this morning. By the way, I'm prepping my skin with Charlotte Tilbury Magic Cream. It always feels so good. I know it's pricey, but my skin loves this. I think I'm gonna go get some new foundations today, I think. I know the Sephora sale is coming up soon, so I don't wanna spend too much because obviously I wanna save money during the Sephora sale, but I can't help myself. Anyway, today I'm gonna use Dior Face and Body. I actually feel like it may be a mix between these two. This is the 1.5 and this is the 2.5 N. Just getting back into my self tan because I had to stop my self tan because I went for my PicoSure treatment and my uh, Potenza treatment. It's the PicoSure that needed me to have no self tan. Right, so that's the two mixed. And I think that looks really good. Has anyone tried the Dior Face and Body? I absolutely love it. It is one of my favorite foundations and they're really, really nice to travel with. I know everybody talks about the luxurious glass bottles, like House Labs has a beautiful glass bottle. I love that foundation, but if you have to travel, these are perfect. They're meant for professional makeup artists and to have in their kit. Formula is nice and light. Your skin looks like skin. Let's see? This is just a chatty get ready with me. I have been nervous a little bit with TikTok. That's where I really have a lot of followers over there. And I've been trying to build my followers here on YouTube. YouTube makes more sense to me because I can actually make a living here and I can't make a living on the TikTok videos. I don't get paid for those. I've just been sticking with TikTok videos because they're so easy for me. I just put them on my phone and uh, I don't need a fancy setup for them. But my friend, Michelle Spieler, you may follow her on here. She's the Mature Masterclass. Hmm. She's the mature, what is her actual name on there? Miss, Michelle Spieler, but she has the Mature Makeup Masterclass. Um, she had told me that she films her videos all on her phone and she stopped getting so particular with her technology. And I thought, I'm gonna do that because I have the fancy setup and for some reason it never works out for me. There's always a technical difficulty. I'm going to use Bobbi Brown a Corrector Stick in Bisque. I find that this works the best, especially for this area right here. I'm hoping that the PicoSure treatment will remove that spot because that's what the PicoSure treatment does. It's for hyperpigmentation. We'll see. I'm not sure how long it takes to see a result from that. So far, I'm not seeing anything, but I just had it on Thursday. Yeah, I had it on Thursday. I ordered the Milk Sculp Stick. <laughs> I can't speak. And look what happened. I have to go there and return it today. So I took the lid off and it broke. I'm gonna use it, but I obviously wanna get one that's not broken. So let's see what this one looks like. I heard it is really nice. Oh, I like that color actually. That's a perfect color. So this one's stoked. On the same order, I ordered the Makeup by Mario, and this is the color Light Medium. I'm gonna show you what this looks like on this side. It's definitely a different color. I feel like this one looks more like a bronzer and this one looks more like a contour, so it's a bit cooler. And I think I like that. I actually like both, but I think I'm gonna just add a little bit more of the milk for today to make it even. This is really small. Did I get a mini? I hope I just got a mini. Before I put that away, let me put a little bit on my nose and on my forehead. So I just highlighted my hair yesterday. That video is up. So if you're interested in how I highlighted my hair with a cap, go check that one out. I really been loving this color by Bobbi Brown. This one is raspberry. I wore it yesterday and it lasted through a nap. This is the Lux Matte Lip Color. I feel like I'm gonna put this on now and then decide what I'm gonna do for my eyes because since I'm just going to the mall, I may not do a whole lot on my eyes. 
And by the way, this is Sore Lip Pencil by MAC. Yesterday, I spent hours cleaning my silver jewelry. Now I feel like I have all new jewelry. I used to be a Silpata rep. Does anybody remember Silpata? I mean, they still have a business, but it used to be that sales reps, like home-based women like me, moms and wives and everything, um, would sell the jewelry. And then they took that away. They changed their business model, which is okay because I was my own best customer. I wasn't good at selling at all. I'm not a good salesperson. See, that alone with mascara and my brows done, you don't really need to play with eyeshadow when you've got, you know, brightness in your face. Oh, I have a favor to ask of you. I am trying so desperately to get on the Sephora squad. I'm gonna pin a comment with the link. So if you feel like writing a testimonial for me, that would help me so much. I have been trying so hard to be successful at this. The bonus is they give you gratis and that would allow me to bring more products to you. They also offer training, which is really important to me because I wanna know why I'm recommending something, not just because I like it, but what's the technology behind it? That's what I miss so much about working at Sephora or Mac or at a counter. The training that I got was so intense that I really knew the science behind a lot of the products and that would help me, you know, really recommend the right product for my clients. So I missed that part of it. I always pictured myself being an educator. The first time I made a video to try to be an educator, I was applying for an educator for, I think it was a hair, no, it was makeup. I had my good friend as a model <laughs> and the cameras back then were so um, grainy, I guess and the quality was so poor. Being an educator was something that I always wanted to do. I just love that part of it. I guess that's what I'm doing here on YouTube and on TikTok and everything. I wanna know the whys, not just with makeup. I wanna know the whys for everything. I wonder how my son's doing. I'm gonna take my bronzer just cause it's beside me and I'm gonna use that in my crease. This is Island Ting by Fenty Beauty. And I'm just gonna put that in the crease. I'm gonna keep my eyes really simple. Oh, by the way, the shimmer on my eyeshadow is a Bobbi. I'm using a lot of Bobbi Brown. None of this is sponsored, by the way, but that was, what is that? It's actually a highlighter from her and it's Quartz Glow. I should show it to you. This is what it looks like. Often I will use a highlighter as my eyeshadow. It's just a really nice subtle shimmer and it stays, it doesn't flake. It looks pretty, it gives my eye a little pop. Just smudging this bronzer right into the lash line there, bringing it to the outer corner. Let me know in the comments, do you guys watch TikTok? Are you TikTok fans? If so, how are you feeling about the potential ban? Mac sent this to me and I haven't tried it. This is the Mac Stack Mascara. I did try the waterproof. I've worn it the past couple days. I really like it. It holds my curl like crazy. Let's see if this one holds my curl. Of course, I used that mascara and I didn't have any waterproof mascara remover, so I had to use baby oil, which I hate because it leaves a horrible film on my eye. I do like the brushes of the MAC stack. I really like how black it is. You know, sometimes you get black mascara and it kind of almost looks like a charcoal gray instead. I don't like that. I want black. I saw Michelle Spieler use a brown the other day though, and that looked so pretty, but I don't think it will look good on me. She has different coloring, so I just feel like black is better for me. I did get it on the inside of my eye though. Is that the brush or me? And I'm gonna show you how I take that off. Don't be grossed out. I just take my own spit and I go in and remove it. Gone little tricks. Let me know how you feel about this camera. Um, it is my phone camera. It's the easiest way for me to get content up for you guys, but if it bothers you, let me know, and I will try to get my very good camera working. I just, I'm a technical person. I can edit my own videos. I can do all that stuff. For some reason, this camera that my husband was so nice to buy for me, I just can't get it to go. I can't even get the tripod to be level. I went to use it yesterday, all my batteries were dead, and I just thought, is this a sign? Is this the universe telling me not to bother and just to use my phone? I'll tell you, it is so much easier. The only thing I don't like is that I can't blur out the background, like a fancy camera. Okay, this is where I should be using the smaller brush. So this one, a Mac stack, but this has the micro brush. So that's what I should be using for my bottom lashes. I wasn't thinking. The packaging is the same. 
smaller brush. Let's compare. Let's see if I can have more control over this one. And I would say yes. Okay, I'm gonna use Precisely My Brow by Benefit and I am in the color number two. A lot of people would put me in taupe because I have the blonde in it, but I'm a ginger. So I like a little bit of a warmer tone. It's not that warm, like it's not a red warm. Who are my ginger girls? Actually gonna set my brows. I'm gonna use the Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Freeze problem I have with this. I love it, but you need to have a spoolie. So I'm using a spoolie off of my other brow product. I wish it came with a spoolie. I don't think it did. I'm sure it didn't. Powder I'm using today is my favorite. This is a Laura Mercier Blur Powder. It's talc free. I love this one and I love the Hourglass Veil Setting Powder. They're so nice and light for my dry skin. You can't see it, it's undetectable. So I just put it where my pores are larger. A little bit under there. And I can even powder under my eyes and it doesn't make them look crepey. I wanna use a House Labs. This one is the Pomelo Peach. This one is Hibiscus Haze. I'm gonna use the Hibiscus Haze. I know that might seem a little odd with my lip color, but I feel like it's gonna be okay. Yeah, that's gonna be okay. I love this color and I'm not a peach person. There's something about it. I really think that color would suit everybody because if it's really peachy, it doesn't suit me, but this one almost has like a cool peach to it, if that makes sense. Don't know how that makes sense, but it does to me. And I'm gonna use the same highlighter that I used on my eye for my cheek, if I can get it open. So this one right here, just right here. Yeah, perfect. Is my hair okay to go out? I think so. Thanks for letting me chat with you. I didn't really teach you a whole lot, but it felt good to talk. So um, I hope to see you in my next video. If you like this kind of video, hit the subscribe button, hit the like button and the notification bell. And I will see you next time. Bye.